you see, we got a new component in the house. There's a lot of reasons for that. My um, my mobile unit is so inefficient. Look at me, I'm, I'm sweating like a dog. I feel better now that I got this uh, material. But it was so inefficient, especially with no insulated walls, no wall covering, especially. I got the bunnies out of here. yard all day they love the breeze but it got almost 110 degrees inside of my shed today was well over 101 degrees outside so I rushed out and I went and got a 10,000 BTU because I know exactly what a 10,000 BTU can do because it's cooling my whole house off uh, downstairs so I'm gonna put a 10,000 BTU right up here in the wall you know because cold air falls no need to put it down low. Cold air falls, so you want your AC up as high as possible. I already built the frame. I built the frame for it to go in. And it's 15 by 15 by 20. It's really 14 by 19. But I made a little extra space because I'm gonna need a ledge to set this whole thing on and brace it. So I'm gonna get right to it. I'm gonna show you. I've already marked my area where the the frame is going to go, I'm going to reframe this, I'm going to cut this stud, cut this stud, and then I'm going to cut a hole out that fits the, that fits the frame, and then I'm going to go from there. Then I'm going to build a shelving unit to hold the whole thing up, a brace, for, brace it from the back and from the front. That way, it won't be rocking or all of that other mess. So, let's get started. I'm going to be using the Energizer. PPS 2000 for it for power for my tools. All right, so all I'm doing right now is cutting these studs. and the platform can come through and uh, we'll be in business okay so what I'm gonna do now is build a platform for this whole thing to sit on. I'm gonna build a frame so the whole air conditioner can sit on. It's gonna be coming from the back so the air conditioner is gonna sit flush, almost flush up against this wall. All right, you guys, had to do it another day. Uh, rain caught me. So I went out to get the material for the bracket. Lumber prices are through the roof. That's why I'm using refurbished lumber uh, out of my garage to make the frame. And then we're gonna be pretty much done besides trimming it out. So let's get busy.
when I get back, I do it, make it permanent. All right, it's the first run. Plug him into the energizer, see what, what it do. Here's the compressor. Oh, I can feel it. Oh, man. That's gonna work so well. Get all the rest of this foamed up. So I gotta make a quick run out of town. But until then, it's in here solid as a rock. So, so far so good, everything is good. All right, so stick with me. Oh, that feels so good. Stick with me. And the Tiny House Edition is gonna keep coming along. Next, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be adding windows and doors on this side so it overlooks the lake. Like this. There's a pretty little, pretty little goose. So, we're going to be put the porch here overlooking the lake. So, this is what it's going to look like from behind. The door will probably be here. I'm still kind of rooting for the door to be right here and the windows on either side. And then I'm going to build the porch right across here. This is how it's looking on the outside. That's her right there. So I'm going to fill that in with insulation, trim it out so it's going to look like it was meant to be there. And this whole thing is going to look like a window when I'm done. But right now I can feel all that hot air blowing out of my shed and everything is gravy. It's all work in progress. Now we got AC, the bunnies got AC. We got a, a mess in here, but it's a good mess. Live Farmer 73, I love y'all, and I'm out.